So hey, welcome to this untitled section of Indie Film Experience, where I, Zach Green, try to inspire you with what inspires me. I know as a creative myself that it's hard to keep the fire that's inside of you alive sometimes. And uh, this series is to kind of keep that fire alive and we can inspire each other with what inspires us. So the work that I'm going to be chatting with you about today is the work of a photographer. He's a street photographer. He started out originally in the fashion industry uh, as a man named Saul Leiter. So I was originally introduced to Saul's work by my friend Misa and then uh, Misa referred me to Ted Forbes' channel. He has a whole video breaking down Saul Leiter's work. If you find this guy inspirational and want to learn more about him, I'm going to leave a link in the description to Ted's video. I'm not going to dive into his history. What I do want to talk about is the first ever photo book that I've ever purchased, which is this one. I'm taking my time going through it. I haven't reached the end yet. I just got it this last Tuesday. Um, bought it on Amazon. I was expecting a book at least twice this size. Silly me. Huh? So there's one image in particular that I kind of want to walk you through is, is a perfect reason why I love Saul's work. And it's this one. And this, this image, this photo, being the first image that I encountered in this book that has stopped me from turning the page. Um, I've had to spend time looking at this photograph and just kind of breaking down each quadrant of the frame uh, and just kind of like looking at the, everyone's posture and everything and the way that the image kind of flows and kind of like guides my eye. Um, so obviously I feel like the Part of the image that has, I guess, what you'd call the most optical weight would be uh, Mary's face. And she has just kind of like this relaxed look on her face. So I don't really know what it is that she's feeling. Um, but then my eye is just kind of like drawn down all of these ads to see these men. And then over these men, almost superimposed over each one of them is one of her hands putting on a glove. I don't know how to interpret that exactly, it's just kind of an observation at this point. And this being the first image that kind of like choked me, uh, I, have, I have yet to fully interpret what it means to me. Um, but if you have any interpretations of this particular image, let me know, I would absolutely love to hear it. Another thing that I really love about this photograph is that whenever I initially looked at it, I felt like it was, it was a still from a movie. Um, I gravitate towards cinematic imagery, and to me this feels very cinematic. And that's why this particular photograph is special to me. It's transcendent of the time. It's content like this that keeps me going in pursuit of my own creative projects, because I just the, the brief history that I do know of Saul's work is that he, he did street photography in his spare time, and he was uh, apparently pretty self-conscious about his personal work. And that's kind of in parallel to the way I'm working now. So like, I don't like to talk about it because I don't want to do it anymore, but I do a lot of wedding videos. And that can be creatively draining for my personal projects that I actually want to pursue. And to make time to do that, I kind of have to like hustle to get the wedding things done on time. After I discovered Saul's work, I just went into this rabbit hole of looking up similar photographers, street photographers, documentary, portrait, all these different types of photographers. By going down that road, I've found a near through line through the images I'm interested in to help me define the type of images that I like to capture myself. So you can find this guy's work on Amazon or anywhere else you could get a photo book, I would assume. Uh, he's a pretty popular guy. I have a Pinterest and I, I pinned all my favorite photographs of some of my favorite photographers within the last year. I hope you found this at the very least entertaining and I'll see you in about a week talking about something else.